practicing tricks, knowing food is the reward. Oh boy. But for this dog owner, it's not always easy to come by. I've been sleeping in doorways of empty businesses for six months now. Every night, Buddy is by his side. And every day, he's the priority. He always gets fed first. Regardless, if I don't have enough money to buy both of us food, he eats and I don't. So that's just the way it is. To make ends meet, the pair often come here. On top of services for the homeless, Victoria's Our Place Society is now offering a food bank for pets. Right now, this is all the food that we've bagged up for um, the pets for this week. A week's worth, individually packed, is stored here. The program launched after the Souk Animal Food and Rescue Society recognized the need. But meeting it is challenging. It's not only the homeless community, it's also low-income families and, and individuals. So now that they're starting to realize what's available to them, we need, we need a lot more than what we have right now. Up to 50 requests come in each day. While a few local pet stores are providing the bulk of the product, the program is also open to donations. We'll see that it goes to the people um, free of charge, um, etc. So there's no cost or whatever involved. And we'll see that they get it, yeah, you know, or whatever. Eh? So it, I think it's a win-win for everybody. There you go, little man. A handful goes a long way, and the treats are a bonus. And we got some puff pepperoni, bacon bits. This way, at least, if one day you don't make money, you can at least count on the food banks. And that's my number one concern right now, is keeping them healthy and fed and alive. That's a good boy, yeah. It's always one day at a time, but made easier with every meal and every moment spent together. He's uh, basically the reason I've made it through the last six months on the streets. He's been my rock. Kylie Stanton, Global News, Victoria.